There's a leech in, in southern Africa called Placobdeloides jaegerskjoldi that has the unusual habit of feeding from the rear ends of, of hippos and only feeds from the rear ends of hippos. I went to South Africa probably four times before I managed to get it. We needed to get that leech. We went to Kruger Park in the eastern part of South Africa. Absolutely beautiful place. Lions, rhinos, elephants, leopards. But if you want hippo leeches, you gotta find hippos. Of course, hippos kill more people in Africa than any other vertebrate. And the reason is that they have enormous teeth and they come across each other like this, like scissors. So if you get bitten by a hippo, it'll basically cut you in half. But we got permission to get out of our vehicles because we were doing biological research, but we had to go with a park warden and he had this big rifle. So we went out and we're walking into a hippo pool at dawn. This is when the hippos could still be out of the water and then get angry with you. And I said, have you ever had to use your rifle? He says, no. I said, okay, so what's the rifle for? He says, well, you're going into a hippo pool and if a hippo bites you, you might want me to shoot you. We were really actually quite terrified. We had gone some time without actually finding anything in a lot of different places, not just, not just in Kruger Park. And then a hippo near people's homes had been wandering around in a community and they, they, had to, they had to kill the hippo. And our park ranger had remembered that these crazy Americans were looking for a hippo leech and that some apparently it lived in the rectum. So he got out his knife apparently and he, he cut the rectum of the hippo out and stuck it in a jar and kept it for us. So we quickly drove down and sure enough in it and a great big leech. So that was how we actually finally got the hippo leech, Placobdeloides jaeger skildi. That was amazing to me. Our kind of science, my kind of science. Are there some dangerous situations? Yes. Why do we do these things? Uh, because it's, it's, it's about discovery. I guess if it's easy, it isn't worth discovering. Remembering that, that success after so much failure puts it in a very special place. There you go. That's not a bad chat.